Hello YouTube, it has been a hot minute. It is Thursday, the 7th of October today. Um, I am 23 days out uh, and it's a rest day today. So the last couple of weeks have been fucking mental. Well, the last week has been, well, two weeks actually has been pretty fucking mental. Um, and today's my first like rest day of like not doing, well, I'm working, I'm working all day. I'm super busy today, which is great. Um, but first actual rest day of like just kind of having a rest day if that makes sense. Um, it probably, it probably doesn't make any sense because I'm 23 days out, so my brain's just like, <clears throat> um, but yeah, I'm gonna update you in this vlog on kind of like how I'm doing, where I'm at. Um, but I just thought I'd pick up the camera because I'm just in between client sessions. I just had a posing client there, which is amazing, but another client now, and I'm just having a wee meal. Uh, today's my first day on like mainly low calories so we dropped my food yesterday um just because we need to pull off another couple of kilos which is all fine um and yeah today's my first day on like low 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 amounts of food like yesterday was my first day on like low amounts of food on a training day it was fucking brutal but it is what it is and today is my first rest day on like fuck all food so i've got hot well cream and rice cream cream and rice cream of rice berries and protein and a cup of tea to get me through um but yeah i'm gonna update you all this vlog and how i'm getting on thoughts feelings reflections the likes of it um so yeah i hope you enjoy it we are going a bar right here this actually reminds me of recording in like october time last year but first thing in the morning when i was going to the gym uh, but out getting my steps, it is Thursday evening, so for a bit of an update. So like I said, I've had a really mental kind of past week and a bit. Um, it's got, I've not made like an update vlog in a week while. So I'm currently, I think I said this earlier, 23 days out uh, from my first show, WMBF Supernaturals on the 31st of October, which is fucking crazy. I literally cannot believe how quickly prep has gone by already. I'm just like... How am I three and a half weeks out? Like it's crazy, uh, but also very exciting, but also slightly terrifying. So combination of all the emotions. Um, but yeah, the last two weeks have just been pretty nuts. So last vlog you've seen was with me and Jack, the Q and A. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did watch it, if not, you can go back and watch it whenever you want. Um, but that was last so two weekends ago, where instead of normally as I would train on a Saturday. I trained on a Sunday so I could actually make time to spend with Jack over the Saturday. But then that meant that I trained Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, oh Jesus, four days in a row. Now I wouldn't normally do that, but on Thursday last week, it's a week ago literally today, I was away to Birmingham for the Arnold Sports Festival. And because I was going to be traveling all day, I had to train on the Wednesday. So I had to do four days back to back which obviously at this stage of prep just completely knocked me out. And then that Thursday traveling was fucking hard. It was a really challenging day. Did my cardio in the morning before going, but then by the time I got to Birmingham, had to go out and do like all my steps as I am doing now. I've got like maybe 3000 left, which was uh, just exhausting to be honest. So yes, I was down in Birmingham, which was amazing for the Arnold. It was so cool, just hard to put into words, but basically got to see Phoebe Hagen win her show and Phoebe Hagen was one person who inspired me to compete for the first time in 2018 so that was absolutely unreal like unbelievably cool but I lost my voice over the weekend haven't felt it since and nah, it was just it was just amazing got to meet loads of people Josh Bridgman, Erin Thompson, Sarah, Bradley um and it was just unreal got to spend the whole weekend obviously with like Nikki and Indra got to see Molly um Brad, other people from the team. It was just, it was just an epic weekend, but just very, very tiring having to fit in. Obviously, all the prep things like steps, cardio, training, amidst the fucking chaos of the weekend. But got it done. Sunday morning, trained legs. So I wasn't actually able to go to the Arnold Sports Festival on Sunday because I had to come back to Scotland. Um, and Jack had to pick me up from Edinburgh because Scott Rail trains have been on strike. So there's no fucking trains on a Sunday. So anyway, long story short, had to train first thing in the morning on the Sunday, 
get back home after traveling all day and then do my 15 minutes of cardio. And that was the first time that I've come close to crying on the cross trainer before doing cardio. So far this prep. Uh, and then on Monday I had my brother-in-law Scott and his wife's wedding reception, which was amazing. So Monday was a rest day, which is why I had to train on Sunday, do set legs on Sunday, because then we were away to the wedding. So I just did my cardio. And then Tuesday, the day after the wedding, after a night of dancing and the likes of it, got back, got changed, went to the gym. I was wearing two, what, a pair of leggings, joggers, three layers on my top half, and I still couldn't get warm at the gym. It was horrible. And then I had to do cardio when I got back, and that was the second time that I felt like crying in the span of three days because of prep, because I was so tired. But we got it done, we survived the hardest. And now we are 23 days out. <gasps> How has that happened? All oh, my days. Also, I apologize in advance for the quality of the video in this part of the vlog, but it's just dark outside. The flash isn't great. I'm just walking a bit. But anyway, so that was challenging. And then yesterday, Wednesday, I had a sports more deep tissue massage in the morning, which was amazing. I found this guy um, down here in Gala Shields who comes to your house and does a deep tissue massage and he's fucking incredible like he is absolutely amazing like i've not had i've been looking for a decent sports massage therapist for ages and like lauren um friend i used to work with and who then i've worked with as a client um was incredible but she is just too far away she's in midlothian unfortunately she was amazing but this dude fucking unreal like i've never felt like someone's actually understood my issue as well as he had as he has so i've had a session with him last week had another one with him yesterday and it's just been fucking magical for my back and actually i feel like my posing's massively improved off the back of it too so it's just been the best investment and discovery ever so i'm just walking back the same way i came just because it's a bit of a dodgy path i'm like mm. even though i'm a bit over gonna be a bit over my steps i'd rather that then feel unsafe if you know you know but anyway so that's been an amazing discovery that's made a huge difference but yeah i've definitely been feeling like feeling prep um trained legs yesterday and it was just i just didn't have it in me honestly like i did my best move my numbers but see when i was like doing stuff like deadlifts just my top set of 95 kilos felt like a baby elephant which is not pleasant still managed it but it was just it's just getting really hard at the minute and yeah like i said i'm now on to daily check-ins with one uh, which is good but also a pain in the ass because uh, getting up and out of bed and thinking mm, i need to put my fucking bikini on now can't be asked but needs must so it's been fine it's been fine i've just been feeling a bit more draggy and today was been my first kind of rest day of just I've literally been sat at my desk pretty much all day. I've had three posing clients, uh, a psychology call, and then caught up with two of my bridesmaids, best friends, <laughs> later on. So I've just got like so much to do, which is great to keep my mind busy and occupied from prep. But then it's also a bit like, oh my goodness, like so much work to do and feels like time's just running away. I've got my first psychology deadline on the 1st of January. And uh, I really need to step my pussy up, basically, on that one because it's a lot of work and I need maximum concentration for it. Well, that's a shocking angle, but we're just going to have to cope with it. It's Friday morning. Just finished my cardio. That was pretty tough, man. These are 50 minute sessions aren't getting any easier, but what is getting easier is just hopping on the cross train and just like getting going. Like I'm not thinking about it too much and actually what has made a difference is putting the heating on in the morning. So I'm not like frosted by the time I need to start cardio. But yeah, um, checked in this morning, no changes. Yesterday was a rest day and I was really bloated. Um, so whatever it was up, 5.2 of a kilo, but everyone reckons we'll be entering a new kind of weight bracket this weekend. So. We'll see, I had the worst sleep ever. Like, I don't think my Fitbit's given me such a low score and like not even with the Arnold and that, with less actual like sleep time. Yeah, um, I was awake from like one to half three or something like that, which is brutal. So I feel shattered today, but I um, just need to get through it. I think I'll have a bath tonight. I reward myself with a bath. I'll bake it through the day. 
now time to shower, get some fucking food in. You know, prep's hitting you hard when you start the cardio and your stomach is rumbling. Let's do it. Another terrible post cardio angle. Saturday morning, literally the only reason I'm picking up the camera is because that was fucking hard. That was really hard. Oh, but with 21, take it out. That food drop from the other day is like brutal. And we might have to increase cardio. But I just keep telling myself, make it worth it. Like that's what's going through my mind. When I'm bashing it out, I just keep saying, make it worth it, you know. Put in the work, not for the outcome, but for knowing that I've done everything that I can. So yeah, I'm gonna go shower. But that was tough, that was really tough. So it's Saturday, 2.30. I've just gone back from the gym and showered. Only had one meal so far. And I feel fucking minging. I oh, could have cried with joy when that workout was done. And then on the way home, I could have cried having to get on my steps and before eating food. So right now, I just don't even want to talk to anyone. <laughs> The only reason I'm picking up the camera is because this is like the reality of getting really lean. Some days are fucking hard and I bet you once I eat my carbs I'll be fine. I'm just letting my oats so But my plan for today is to literally just put something on the telly and ignore the world. I just, oh my god, I want to scream. I'm like, uh Yeah, sorry for the drama. <laughs> I feel like there'll be a weight drop tomorrow. You heard it here first. Hmm. Anyway, I'll update later when I don't feel this fucking grim. Yay. <laughs> Much later. The drama queen is back. I'm just feeling a lot better than that's predicted. It's Saturday evening, it's just about to be 9 p.m. and I'm just editing this vlog. <laughs> Um, and I can definitely confirm that food made me feel a lot better, but it wasn't until I had like three meals um, that I felt a bit more human. Um, but yeah, today's just been one of those tough days, just one of those days of prep that pretty soul sucking, but you know that I suppose it's working in, in that sense. So I spent the afternoon on the sofa. I watched In the Heights. I don't want to watch anything emotional, but In the Heights is emotional, but also amazing. Um, so I did that and it was great and I've not moved much so now I have like about 800 steps to get uh, so I put a wash on I've done like random shit around the house um, just to get like these kind of random steps in uh, but yeah today's been a hard day uh, but we're three weeks out three weeks out exactly tomorrow uh, which is crazy as I've said about a gazillion times in this vlog but yeah I know it sounds a bit dramatic um, and honestly like it, it's just part of the process I think it's just reflective of like how much your mood does change in a day when you're on prep like some moments are really tough and then other moments you feel great like now I feel totally fine but yeah so weird weird how it is um, I hope you enjoy kind of seeing I enjoy is a, maybe a strong word but I find it interesting anyway to see how that goes up and down because generally I like I am a really positive person I love the process of prep like these days you come to the end of them like and you're like 
yeah, I fucking did that. Like I survived. It was like hard, but it's weird because obviously like you choose to do it. So you can't really like be that dramatic because ultimately if you wanted to stop, you could. Um, but yeah, so that is that. Um, not the longest vlog, but I suppose a bit of an update as to where I am with life um, tomorrow. Like I said, officially three days, three days. Ha, <laughs> fuck, imagine three weeks out from WMVF four weeks out from two bros and then i've not registered yet but five weeks out from pca um which are my first three shows and then the rest obviously will pan out i'm just like not trying to think too much about like the shows coming after because otherwise it just seems so far away and i don't want to think about it so i'm just focusing on three weeks out and then it's back to back peak weeks which will be fine so literally i have two weeks two four weeks of normal training left before my first peak week which is just unbelievable um yeah like i said earlier in the vlog it might be that we need to up my cardio tomorrow um just to pull off the last couple of kilos to really be stayed ready so i'm i'm lean but i'm not lean enough for stage yet uh, which i suppose is our difference with like getting lean and then getting bodybuilding stage lean especially as a natural competitor you just have to not that like assisted people don't have to work super hard but you know when you're not losing using the likes of clan t3 t4 any of those types of a supplements we'll call them <laughs> assistances uh sometimes you just need to dig a little bit deeper and that's what we do like i said to Vaughn, i was like oh, more cardio but then i was like well realistically i'll do whatever it takes because i'm choosing to do this and i just need to embrace it um so yeah i'll update everybody in next week's vlog as to how i am how i'm doing um i wish i had more time to make these vlogs more frequent as show day does get closer but pff, honestly like uh yeah i'll be honest i don't <laughs> so it'll be weekly i will try and make these weekly though and uh yeah tomorrow my plan is to go into town and i'm gonna go to tk maxx and i'm gonna find a diary for 2022 because i love being able to plan things and put them in my diary and um i'm not thinking past this year because i've got enough going on but i'm getting married next year there's gonna be a lot of things to plan already in there uh amongst other things obviously so yeah my plan to go to tk max i also need a blue pen just random but i'm very very anal about my pens and i need a blue pen so that's the plan i'm really looking forward to it i've uh, just got cardio to do in the morning tidy the house get my ass the food job delivered and uh go to tk max and basically that'll be me getting my steps because I'll probably walk into town and walk back. And yeah, we'll be three weeks out officially. So it's about to get more exciting from here for sure. Um, crazy how many small changes you see in your body like as you get so close. Um, but yeah, as always, thank you so much for watching these vlogs. I know I'm being a bit dramatic, but hey, I suppose the point of these vlogs is to reflect the ups and downs of prep. And yeah, that's what you're getting. So thank you for watching them. If you do enjoy them, make sure you give the video a thumbs up to let me know that you enjoy it. And as always, let me know in the comments if there's anything you love to see or don't love to see. I'll make an effort to include more or less of those things just for you. <laughs> uh, for all coaching inquiries and all that jazz, also all the links are in the description below. So just, just head over there if you want to work with me. Um, I am taking on clients at the moment. Um, so yeah, any questions about that, just just let me know. Give me, drop me a message on Instagram or whatever it is, and I can book a call with you or just fill out an inquiry form. And yeah, on the note, I'll shut up, edit this vlog, upload it, and go to my bed and read. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, as always. Peace and love, people, and I will catch you in next week's vlog. Bye.